guys. Nice. We are Rachel and June, and today we are in Fukui Prefecture. Yep. This is one of the smallest prefectures in Japan. Not many of you have probably heard of it. It's on the western coast right next to Gifu Prefecture. And in my opinion, this is one of the most underrated prefectures of Japan. We've been here three days so far and I can honestly say I've really enjoyed every single day. I would love to come back here and spend more time here. There's so much to do. So our first day we went to Eiheiji Temple. It's a Buddhist temple in the mountains. It literally means peaceful temple and it's very peaceful. Yeah. There are supposedly more than 200 monks still and really intense. It's one of the largest Buddhist training schools in Japan so it's very big and unlike a lot of other temples and shrines you can actually go inside. It costs 500 yen but you can walk around through all of the buildings and they treat you like a religious student while you're there. And the monk at the gate actually speaks English too. Right, right, he was bilingual, he spoke to us in English. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, and you can actually make reservations and go in there and study yourself if you want. Chris, right behind the camera, went there for meditation before, so that's pretty awesome. And because it's a training temple, you get to see the monks doing all of their daily business. And at one point, they all sat down in a central prayer room, I guess, to do some of their chanting. And it was really a unique experience to hear something like that. I've never heard anything like that before. Like it resonated throughout the entire temple. It was really incredible. And after the temple, we also went to a soba restaurant. Uh, Fuku is famous for having soba and also sesame tofu. If you haven't tried these yet, it's really good, so you should try them out too. Right. If you're going off season, make sure you get there before, by 5 p.m. Yeah. I would say. They close really early. Yeah. <laughs> we also went to Ichijodani, which is a city that has the Asakura clan's historic ruins, which is an old samurai village. Yeah. And they have a lot of cherry blossom trees there, which were really beautiful. Momiji tree as well, too. Momiji. It's yeah. a little late in the season, but we still got to see the cherry blossoms blooming. And there you can try on historical clothing. It was so cool. June got to dress up like a samurai, and I was a samurai's wife. But my clothes were still really cool. I liked high them a lot. High status woman? Yeah, I was like a, a high social status yeah. woman clothes, I guess. I was awesome. Moe looked really awesome in hers. That was really cool. You only get to try it on for 15 minutes though, so we tried to make the best of it, but if we had all day in like those samurai clothes, we could have done so much. You get to walk around the ruins in them a little bit, so you can do lots of really cool photo shoots and everything. I definitely recommend that if you're here in Fukui Prefecture. It was a ton of fun. Yeah. And there's also a waterfall called Ichijo Falls, really close by. So if you get there, I think you should also check that too. Yeah, for sure. Here you can also do a personal experience called Taiken, where you can make washi paper. It's old Japanese traditional paper. We went to a place called Papyrus Hall, and the guy who was teaching us was so cool. He was really adorable. <laughs> he was really nice. Yeah, we got to film the whole thing, and that was a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure I made the best thing there out of everyone, not to brag or anything. It was it was really fun though. Um, that's another definite recommendation. You can actually make a lamp there out of the paper if you want. I didn't know about that, otherwise I probably would have done that, but I made postcards for only 800 yen, so about $8. But it was definitely worth it. And for lunch we ate sauce katsudon, which is a deep fried pork cutlet with the uh, soaked sauce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like sweet. With the sauce? It was sweet, um, the outside was crispy, the inside was juicy yeah, yeah, yeah. pork cutlet. It it's was a, really good. It's rice bowl pork yeah. cutlet on top of the rice. Yeah. It was really good too. That was really delicious. Yeah. And after that we went to a place called Takefu Knife Village. You can actually get to see craftsmen sharpening and making and forging all these knives. That's really cool. So if you're interested in knives like me, uh, I think you should <laughs> definitely go there and right. check them. There was a really big workshop. There were probably 
a dozen people in there working on different machines, like yeah. forging all the knives. It was really interesting. And you can buy their knives there too. You can buy them there. The receptionist was so nice. She talked to everyone. She puts up a sticker on her map. She has a world map and if you go there, she puts up a sticker of where you're from. She's, she was just so sweet. Also, right next door, you can do another personal experience where you make a knife yourself. If you have a good six hours to spend, you can actually go there and make a knife. Next time I come back, I'll definitely do it. Yeah. I'll like, make a video about it. your own knife? That's amazing. <laughs> we didn't have time to do that today. And now we're here at Tojimo Cliffs. These are really famous cliffs here in Fukui. This is probably one of the things that Fukui is most famous for. Um, it's definitely a really beautiful site here. They have a lot of cool souvenir shops and restaurants up above ground. So if you're here in the summer, this should all be open and it would be a really nice place to spend your afternoon. And right up above these cliffs, they have a lot of souvenir shops and restaurants. So in the summer, if you can come here, you can spend an afternoon here and it would really be a, a wonderful place, I think. Fukui has just been really awesome. I love Fukui. This is one of my favorite prefectures now. So we're gonna stroll around a little bit more and then tomorrow we're off to Gifu Prefecture, another one of my favorite prefectures. So, all right, I'll see you guys later.